Hello oh, and welcome Mac Gamers back to Mac Gaming Revolution. Hey, look at that. Mac Gaming Revolution. I swear I did not get this from Whiskey. Anyway though, today I'm going to be covering one of the most requested things for Mac Gaming, Whiskey. So Whiskey essentially is a UI for Mac's game porting toolkit and allows it to be downloaded and installed easier. So it's essentially game porting toolkit except much more user friendly and it comes with crossover integrated so essentially it will perform just like crossover as it does include an older version of crossover i believe yes crossover 22.1 which is a version behind ish i think because it's on 23 right now and yeah get apple's game porting toolkit so with whiskey you'll be able to play just about yeah anything you could play with crossover for free though like, whereas Crossover costs $70, Whiskey is absolutely completely free. And it should run, yeah, everything about the same. It could be a little bit worse than with Crossover and have generally worse compatibility. But overall, Whiskey is a solid free alternative to Crossover. Now let's get started. So first you're going to want to go to getwhiskey.app, which I'll have linked in the description or the Whiskey GitHub page at github whiskey.app or whiskey slash app. I'll also have this linked in the description. But if you just, if you don't care about getting a specific release or whatever, just go to this one, get whiskey.app. So now you're, once you're here, you're just simply going to click download latest. With that, you'll get a zip file whiskey.zip. Alternatively, if you want a specific version, you can click see all releases, which will send you to this GitHub page and you can choose a specific version. But I would highly recommend just simply clicking download latest release and getting the up most up-to-date version of Whiskey. Once you have the whiskey.zip file downloaded, I moved it to my applications for ease of use, you're going to want to simply double click it and then it'll open up and create this file here. Or not file, this application here, Whiskey. And you're going to want to do this in your applications folder because if you don't, Whiskey may not run properly. So, once you have unzipped the file, you can simply take this, move it to trash, delete it, you won't be needing it anymore. So, once you do that, take your Whiskey app, double click it, open it on up. It should have a thing if you're doing it for the first time saying, this is like, Apple scanned this and checked it for malicious files. There's none found, you wanna open it. Just push open, there's no malicious files or whatever because the developers have a license if I recall. So, you know, it's, it's safe, whatever. Okay, so once you have this, it should say dependency setup and you're going to need Rosetta installed and game porting toolkit installed. Rosetta comes, it, it ships basically with every single Mac um, nowadays. So you shouldn't worry about downloading this. And for game pointing toolkit though, you'll need to download this. So push next. And then it'll simply download game pointing toolkit. It's only 400 megabytes. It should be nice, quick, easy download. And I'll meet you back when it's done downloading. Alrighty, welcome back guys. Now that Whiskey's installed, you should be met with this screen and then you're good to go. So this interface, this UI is essentially the same as crossovers. It allows you to do similar things where you can just, you know, search for something or whatever. Just You can simply install things like Steam, for example, into a bottle, and it'll essentially function the same as Crossover, except now it's free. I'll do a tutorial in the future on how to install different things into these bottles, like Steam or other games, for example. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe, and keep gaming on a Mac.